What's happening, YouTube? YJ Wolf here. And I know some people who aren't really that down with going to church, and that's fine. But I will say, I think I found their reason for it. Looking for a city built above. Looking for a city. Congratulations! You're no longer the most annoying thing on the planet. Don't push it. I know American Idol was cancelled a couple years back, but I would love to see Simon's reaction to this. No, oh, not that Simon! The other Simon! If you got him, I think they'll throw you at him before you send. Thanks, Simon. We miss you, buddy. So as you know, I love me some American cars. And a lot of other people do too. That would be the exception, though, of this woman. I came over here because it was quiet. Because there was nobody here. And you come up here with your gas guzzling piece of shit. And the exhaust hey, is spewing hey, everywhere. Hey, and don't you swear in front of my Shut daughter. Up. Get out. Hey. Cheryl. Now. So apparently she's complaining about the truck being on, the diesel exhaust getting in her face and whatnot. Well, I'll tell you something. It's not that big of a deal, honey. Yes. Just asking you to be pleasant and courteous, and you guys aren't willing to. That's all. I backed up. I backed up. There's your exhaust pipe. The wind is blowing in this direction. There will be Why is the goddamn car on? Because my daughter... I'll tell you what I'd do in this situation. I'd just sit there and rev the engine all day. Just wa and watch her fume. Because, you know, I mean, yeah, her opinion's valid. I should have the truck off. But you know what? I'm an American, and I don't care. You're laughing because you're mindless and you're ignorant. My message to this lady would be, next time you're stuck in a ditch, you might want to be nice to the guy with the diesel truck who can pull you out. Just a little food for thought there. Just saying. <laughs> this is one time when I was getting a haircut and apparently there's a US Army recruiting center right by the hair salon. And that was fine, I was just standing around and then some army guy came in and said, Oh, look, man, you're going to join the army? Here's my business card. I should have watched this video beforehand. Because they know, because this guy knows what to do. Yep, this guy knows how to handle a business card. Unlike me when I met the army guy. But, you know, you live and learn, I guess. You know, you can handle have this for any situation, like a housing foreclosure or hospital bills, or restraining orders. Any pieces of paper you don't want, just do whatever the hell that is. <laughs> ah, the freak out kid. Remember him? Well, turns out he's having some trouble getting the microwave working. So let's see, is he gonna handle this like a calm, Simple-minded individual. It's a freaking piece of crap and that's a cook! Of course not. He's gonna freak out. I mean, what kind of show do you think this is, huh? Ma! I want my freaking turkey breast with freaking gravy! And it's... Yeah, it's still freaking frozen, Ma! Why not eat something that doesn't have to be cooked? Like, I don't know... Uh, chips, peanut
peanut butter sandwich. Um, or you know what? Just go to McDonald's. Okay, so after all this, you know what's coming. You know what he's gonna do. Dude, what are you doing? Oh, yeah. God, you have a freaking boner for that freaking camera. Get out of my face. What are you doing, Steven? Wow, Steven, so you better freaking. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Dude! Get out of my freaking face! <laughs> wow! Shut up! Wow, Steven! Yeah, I'm freaking starving! Congratulations! In the process of freaking out and smashing your in your microwave, you in, ooh, did not get any dinner, and you're probably gonna get an ass whooping because you smashed the family microwave. Enjoy! So, you, so, let's say it's snowing outside, and you're, and you are, and your car is stuck in the snow. Who's gonna pull you out, huh? Well, not the plow trucks, because the city sucks. But let's say a good old American Hummer. Is this guy trying to have fun or do a good deed? Who doesn't remember the Hummer? Well, a lot of people did. A lot of people hated him too, like Prius Lady. But, you know, there's one thing though that a Hummer could do that you other guys couldn't do with your little Priuses and Camrys and whatnot. What's that? Get anywhere when it snows. I bet he paid a hundred dollars in gas. <laughs> it is annoying though, because they're all saying, ooh, it's a Hummer. It's all, you know, it's all gas guzzler and things like that. Well, you know what? Again, they, he just plowed your, your road for you. That deserves some, there's a medal or something. That guy's a hero, because now I can get to work. That concludes this video. I'm YJ Wolf, and this message will self-destruct.